As we continue in our Lenten series, we've been talking about the I Am statements of Jesus. And this past Sunday, Pastor Hale preached on the verses, I am the good shepherd and I am the gate for the sheep. It produces beautiful imagery for us about Jesus as a shepherd. And the truth is when we wanna do a really deep study of God's word, we can take a word, a single word, we can go back to its Greek or its Hebrew origin and do a search to find other instances of that word. And it gives us a deeper meaning to something that maybe Jesus was saying or something that's there in scripture. And in this case, we can use that word shepherd and we can look for other instances in God's word to help us really understand what that means for us. What did Jesus mean? I I am the good shepherd. We have our own understanding of what a shepherd is, but then we can think of these other passages like the 23rd Psalm. And, um, and then the one that I want us to talk about today is the parable of the lost sheep. I have this beautiful painting in my office here, and it's one of John Nelson's paintings. It's part of that Life of Jesus series that he has painted in his earlier years in his life. And it, it so beautifully dep depicts Jesus leaving that flock of 99 and going to find that one lost sheep. I don't know if you have ever lost a child I really haven't lost my own children for more than about 30 seconds. I look around and there they are. But there was one occasion I, I lost someone else's child. We had been in a water park all day and I had kept up, my kids all invited friends. And so I'd kept up with six children all day long and I knew what swimsuits they were in and I could find them, I could pick them out. But at the end of the day, my daughter's friend put on her cover up and she was suddenly in a different color in a different outfit and we went different directions and I could not find her. It was the end of the day closing for this water park and I was frantic. And I, this was not a 30 second search. This was, um, this was about a 10 or 15 minute search and we had employees searching and it was nerve wracking for me, certainly to have lost someone else's child. I can only imagine the fear and the anxiety that this sweet child was also experiencing. Uh, maybe you can recall a time when you were lost as a child and that fear that sort of wells up inside of you. As adults, we can sometimes have some of those same feelings of being lost and um, it might present itself as loneliness or emptiness or an ache in our hearts for something more, something that we know is missing. This coming Sunday, um, I'll be sharing about the woman at the well and her encounter with Jesus. I would say the woman at the well was one of those lost sheep and Jesus sought her out and had conversation with her. And I want you to know today that Jesus seeks you out. Jesus searches for you. Jesus is willing to leave the 99 to go and find you and pull you into relationship with him. I hope you'll reflect on those beautiful words today of reassurance from the Bible. Have a great day.